Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about new FIFA 21 icons that are confirmed to be in FIFA based off of a tweet that EA said yesterday on Saturday. We're going to find out more information on Monday. I want to talk about that as well as the new SBC that you see here on your screen. Jao Felix Road to the Final. Another kind of quiet day during this preseason promo. And again, we're still left asking questions where is the rest of this promo because so far we've had a week and three days a week and four days of the preseason promo uh and it has just been very average underwhelming and it's again i said this at the beginning of the promo it was gonna have to be a big time promo to live up to the summer heat because that promo was so awesome uh but it is definitely not doing that in my opinion right now but this is what we're here to talk about today the man with magic in his gloves. EA tweeted this out today as like part of our 6 p.m. content. Uh, they tweeted out, tweeted out, Petr Cech. Petr Cech is a FIFA 21 icon. Full foot 21 reveal coming on Monday. I'll show you that in a second. But this is the graphic. And there's actually a couple things from this graphic that we know. All right. Looking at this card design, looking at this kind of card right here. Um, the icon 100 thing is very interesting to me. Well, at least regardless, we're going to have... This is kind of cool though, right? Because we have the helmet and the hat now in FIFA Ultimate Team because the hat is obviously uh, Yashin. Now, hopefully all versions of Petr Cech or at least the portion of the, his career where he wore the helmet. I'm not entirely sure if he wore the helmet his entire career. Let me down, d know down in the comments. That's something I don't know off the top of my head. Uh, but we definitely need to see a Petr Cech in game with the helmet because that'd be sick. He used to have the helmet uh, when he was in the game a couple FIFAs ago. Uh, I do remember seeing that, but Icon 100, this is something that was kind of talked about earlier. I think it was on like one of the FIFA 21 promo pages a long time ago. It was like on the mobile only screen. You could see it as saying there was a hundred icons. So this isn't like a lot of information, but basically this confirms it here that there are going to be 100 different icons in FIFA 20 one FIFA 21 so how many icons were there last year i think there's 79 is that correct like either 79 or 81 icons were in fifa 20 so they're adding at least 20 icons and they could be adding more depending on if they lost the licenses to any of the past icons that were uh have been in fifa 20 right now or if they're not renewing any licenses maybe a guy like van basten um or you know ronaldinho is having some issues um with stuff going on irl so if if they would remove ronaldinho that'd be That'd be pretty bad, but I guess that is a possibility for some of these icons, but we're going to have 100 icons. That was almost confirmed today uh, by this graphic in FIFA 21, so that's pretty dope, uh, and that's kind of all the news, and they said that on this trailer right here is where we're going to see some more information, so this is going to be put out uh, on the 10th, which is Monday at 11 a.m. my time, uh, which would be, I think, what, 4 p.m. UK time, so two hours before the content drop. There's going to be a FIFA 21 Ultimate Team official trailer. So this is going to be a trailer that is dedicated just to Ultimate Team. And there's probably going to be a lot of information in this that we're going to learn and, and see and know. A lot of really small things like player face scans, um, new icons are going to be kind of teased in this trailer. And there's probably going to be a web page kind of like this one, what we have for the preseason promo and like we have for the FIFA 21 stuff. There's probably going to be a web page that they put out and it might already be in the... Well, there's no the link in the description but there might be a web page that we'll have to look at relating to foot 21 as well the only interesting thing that i see right here are these colors uh a bit interesting right there uh but you know they're kind of going with their pretty simple designs uh for whatever reason this year they're kind of going with that design template uh with a lot of these lines in the boxes and stuff so that's kind of the fifa 21 icon stuff that is going on right now i haven't seen uh a lot about anything else i think they added some tifos um, I think they added some TIFOs. I saw a tweet earlier today about some TIFOs that were added that might be new icons. Um, this right here was uh, a, a Twitter post that I saw today. Credits to Nono Loco 10 on Twitter. Uh, this is Batty Goal, uh, supposedly a, a TIFO uh, that he has in the game. So I don't know if this is FIFA 21 or FIFA 20, uh, but that is a possible icon that could be coming as well. Just something I saw on the Twitter machine today. So that's kind of the FIFA 21 content. We're going to see that a lot on Monday. So don't worry about that just yet. It's going to be more like a Monday content thing. What happened on Saturday in FIFA Ultimate Team was another one of those days where you kind of log in and log out. Maybe you complete the SBC that they put out. Maybe you don't. 
Uh, yesterday or two days ago was Mason Greenwood. 300,000 coins for that SBC. Another live road to the final item. Another road to the final item came out today, and that was 94 rated Jao Felix. A 94 rated Jao Felix came out today. I haven't seen an actual dynamic image for him yet. Uh, I think we need one because uh, that would be very desirable for a card like this. But Atletico Madrid, this is an interesting one, right? Because Atletico Madrid are playing Leipzig um, next week in Champions League. And the potential for them to win against Leipzig, I think, is very high. Obviously, Leipzig does not have Timo Werner. He is now at Chelsea. Uh, and this SPC coming out today is, you know, a little bit more of an expensive one. But it's a lot better value than Greenwood, in my opinion. Just kind of goes to show the GGMU and the Premier League. Um, a lot of the Premier League SBCs are just more expensive because EA knows that more people will do them and they can they can suck more coins off the game in that way because so many people will use Prem squads, right? So uh, this SBC did come out today. It is very similar to his 94 rated card from Summer Heat. Somebody made the reference today on stream. They said Summer Heat, Jao Felix won his Gulag. He's back in the game because this card's only available in draft, but now this one is available in the game for everybody. Um, he has a plus one pace boost and minus one passing uh, and then plus three defense over his Summer Heat card. So they're very comparable there. The in-game stats look pretty good. Five-star skills with a four-star weak foot. I think a lot of people are rocking a Hawk chemistry style on him. Uh, or maybe a, a marksman, or some people were, were saying engine. An engine would work pretty well if you really wanted to max out the agility and balance and then, you know, boost up the passing too. So maybe as a center attack in mid, you rock an engine on him or or an architect to boost up the passing uh, depending on where you run him at. I tried him out for one game. It was a bad connection, came off the bench for six on six chemistry or five chem, whatever it is, and he was just okay. But uh, you know, it's still a nice card to have, right? We have this Future Stars Jao Felix, of course, when you have a, an SPC come out, the higher version of a card, the lower level versions get uh, rocked in price. This Jao Felix is getting dumped on today. It was 100,000 coins before the content drop. Now he's down to 80K. Uh, just a lot of panic selling on this card. I believe he's in packs too. I think he's a part of uh, the best of set of packs that is out right now. So this Jao Felix card is dropping. So that is a bit of a, um, a, a bit of a deal. Uh, if you did want to see that. And just now EA Sports is tweeting out that uh, we are seeing the UCL action is underway and they're just now tweeting out the road to the final Jao Felix. So I guess we don't have a dynamic image for him just yet. Uh, and it's interesting they tweet that out just now because uh, obviously he's not playing right now. It is uh, Napoli and Barcelona alongside of uh, Chelsea and Bayern Munich. So that's kind of interesting. But that was the content on Saturday. I think that SBC is like 180K, so it's not terrible. Uh, and Jao Felix is a fun card that I think, a, I think people were expecting him to do a lot more this year, but he had some injuries and he wasn't able to play as much. So it's nice to see him get some special cards after he had that once to watch and people use that Jao Felix card. I don't know if you remember, but this card, his gold card was so expensive at the beginning of the game because this was a great starter squad, uh, a great starter squad card, the gold Jao Felix. So tons and tons of people used him, uh, at the start of the game. He was very meta. Uh, and he's still a pretty meta card. So he's got the four-star weak foot and the, the five-star skills. So that's kind of fun at the very least. Now, let's talk about today on Sunday a little bit, right? This video is probably going to be very short. There's not a lot of stuff going on. Now, Sunday, I think today is when we're going to get our uh, road to the final boost for the Champions League card. So again, if Napoli win today, uh, Goretzka probably getting boosted today to a 92. Sunday night is when I think we're going to see some of these boosts. Now, if you're watching some of these road to the finals, they just keep trickling up in price. Um, now, some cards like Depay, Memphis Depay actually interests me a little bit. I talked about in yesterday's video, a possible in investment on Vendel. I'm a little bit maybe down on Vendel now just because they are playing against Inter. Uh, Vendel was like 42K last night. I love that price, uh, but now he's kind of back up to 50. So I'm not a huge fan of this just because I don't think uh, that he would rise up too much more pregame because Inter has been playing well. And I don't know if... Um, they would have the steam if Leverkusen could beat uh, Inter. But if it's something you want to make and maybe follow along in game, if you can find this guy on the the, uh, the Xbox in the low 40s, like 41, 42K, PlayStation like 43, 44, 45K, I think he'll be like 55,000 coins pregame. Depay is interesting to me again because he was 150K yesterday when um, Leon scored. And his price skyrocketed up, and now he's kind of back down. Now, they're matched up against... Let me check. Who 
who are they matched up against? UCL games. I forget who Lyon. Oh, City. Lyon is playing City. Um, and these games are on next Thursday, or actually next Saturday for Lyon City. So there's a bit of time in here for this. Um, but again, Memphis Depay has a, uh, a, a team of the season card, which right now on the market goes for uh, basically the same price as this road to the final. So this, cause this is going to go to a 92, but I still don't understand the fact that these TOTS cards, which are in packs, some of them are at least, how these road to the finals are almost the same price as the TOTS card. Now, a situation where that is not the case, and maybe a card that you actually want to end up holding is this Leon Goretzka, right? They're up 3-0. Now, of course, this is pregame today. Um, I, so whatever happens in this game happens. But uh, Goretzka is basically guaranteed to get an upgrade. Upgrade, And he is dropping right now. Goretzka is actually dropping right now. He was like 240, 230,000 coins. He's 223K at the moment. I think people are starting to sell these because they know Bayern Munich is probably going to win today. And they're taking the cash pregame. Um this card has a price range of 200 and I think it's his max price range is 280. 260K for this guy's max price. Byron's probably going to win. This is probably going to go to a 92 rated card. And the thing about this card is his SBC, if you're going to do the player moments, Gretzka is 850K on the market for basically the same card when you can buy this one for 223. So this card, I do think has more room to rise. If you have him, you might as well hold him and just hope that there's a price range update we haven't had a price range update on a lot of these for so, so long. Same thing with Mares. I mean, if you have Mares, he is extinct at 110,000 coins. And that is one that I would hope to see a price range update on as well. Uh, but EA have not been updating price ranges. So that's a bit of a, a worry for me. Kingsley Coman today was like 170, 180K pregame. Uh, looks like he might be around the same price. This might be a card that I hold on to because, you know, obviously... Bayern are probably, they're, they're projected to go pretty far in Champions League, 170. So some people are cashing out on these right now uh, as the games get started um, today. But it's definitely looking like um, that Bayern's going to go through and they're going to win. So some of these cards are probably going to rise up in the next week or two as they're probably due two or three upgrades. Um, but I would just say the cards that lose today. So if you're watching a guy like Conte, again, I mentioned this, but today is actually the day that it matters. Watch Conte today. He's been 290,000 coins today. I feel like him not getting upgraded is already in the price um, of this card. If this card drops today post game, it's a buy because obviously it's Conte. People think people should know that he's probably not going to get upgraded. Um, and uh, that's gonna, just going to be a, a panic selling for some reason if there is any of that today. Just kind of watch on that. And then Usman Dembele as well would be somebody who, honestly, pregame, I would take the cash on. Uh, but you, every, after you watch this video, of course, it's going to be post game. So um, this guy's a price range that is really, really high up there. I mean, I think his price range is like 650,000. So you don't have to worry about him. And there's a lot of hype around this card. So if, um, if Barcelona can pull it out today against, um, uh, against Napoli, this card probably continues to go up. I mean, it's up a ton already. It might be a little bit of sell-off post-game just because of the anticipated upgrade, uh, but he'll go to a 91 and he'll probably have over 90 shooting, over 90 passing. So, and still his his SBC, Summer Heat SBC is 1.3 mil according to Footbin. So there's still a lot of demand for this card uh, and maybe for a guy like Jordi Alba as well. So just be kind of careful with those today. If they do win and they were expected to rent win, kind of like what we saw with Martial, he got the upgrade and he actually went down a little bit in price. Martial plays again, and this kind of pertains to Greenwood as well. Uh, a lot of these Europa League games are starting back up again on Monday. So the Europa League games, uh, if United play on Monday at like 8 p.m. or something like that, my time, at 3 p.m. So it's like 8 p.m. your time or in the U.K., uh, Monday, we have Inter Milan, Leverkusen, Man United, Copenhagen. So we'll be talking about those. Uh, but if you see these guys just dip in price for whatever reason, it might be a buy because, of course, Martial does have a price max uh, cap at like 280, I think. Uh, but there's a potential that right now he's like 230, 240. So you could see a rise there. And then still, I'm hoping and praying that we get some sort of new SBC related to top transfers or related to uh champions league showdowns i guess they're just waiting until we get to the quarterfinals for champions league showdowns and then we're probably going to see some of those sbcs uh later in the week next week because i don't know why we haven't seen anything in content wise yet uh except for um just road to the final stuff which is a bit annoying in my opinion but it is 
what it is. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Hope you guys have a good Sunday. It is Nate, the Food Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.